the Double Stitch Twins. Today's tutorial is the Dream Catcher Crochet Swimsuit. This colorful monopini combines a pre-existing string bikini bottom and an eye-catching crochet motif. You'll need Fixation by Cascade Yarns in Goldenrod, Orange Popsicle, Granny Smith & Teal. Sugar and Cream Cotton Yarn by Lily in Hot Orange, Hot Green, and Hot Blue. Two stitch markers, a tape measure, a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, a large eye darning needle, and a pair of scissors. Oh, and don't forget, you'll need a bikini bottom. First, you'll thread your needle with your fixation yarn and teal. Then, starting on the inside, sew along the top of your bikini bottom. You'll want to create half inch loops and one fourth inch spaces in between each loop. This yarn is nice and stretchy and so is your bikini bottom. So make sure you stretch out your bikini bottom every few loops. Continue to stitch across the top until you reach the other side. Go ahead and pause the video and unpause once you've completed your foundation loops. And we're back. Complete your last foundation loop on the inside and fasten off. Remember, this yarn is nice and stretchy, so make sure you stretch it out before you tie your knot. To start stitching onto your foundation loops, you'll place your hook into the first loop, pull it through, and you'll chain three. Double crochet two into that same foundation loop. Here's one, and here is the next double crochet stitch. Continue on to the next foundation loop and double crochet three into that same loop. Double crochet three into each foundation loop across. So we completed a project that had 10 loops which yielded 30 stitches and this particular swimsuit has 12 loops and there's 36 stitches. So it'll depend on you and the size of your bikini bottom. Moving on to row two, you'll just chain three, turn, and double crochet in each of these new double crochets across. So that first chain three counts as a double crochet and you will be double crocheting into the second one. And then the third and on to the next double crochet that comes from that second foundation loop. Continue in every double crochet across. Remember to chain three and turn at the end. And come back to me after you have completed five rows. Go ahead and pause so you can complete all five rows and rejoin me once you are ready to start the motif part of the project. 
Here are the five rows of the Remix Bikini. Similar to cooking, we will set aside and come back to it later. Moving on with yarn B, that's our goldenrod fixation yarn. We will create a magic circle. Chain two and double crochet into that magic circle 15 times. There's one. Here's two, double crochet three, uh-oh, and here's four. Pause and come back once you've reached a total of 16 double crochet. And here we are. Slip stitch into the top of the first chain two to join and we're ready for round two. Tighten up your magic circle if need be. Chain four. That's gonna count as a double crochet and chain one. Double crochet into this next double crochet. Now you'll chain one and repeat double crochet into the next double crochet, chain one. You can pause and meet me once you've completed this round. Finish this round with a chain one. All right, now we're ready to slip stitch into the top of the first chain four to close. And we're ready for round three. Slip stitch into the first chain one space, chain two, and double crochet into that same chain one space. Chain one, two, three, four, five. We'll go to the next chain one space and double crochet two together. That means start your double crochet, yarn over, start it and pull through two. And once we are done, we'll yarn over again and pull it through all three loops. Repeating that pattern, we'll chain five. And in the next chain one space, we will double crochet two together. That's one. And there's two, and finish it off by pulling it through all three loops. You can pause and repeat this chain five, double crochet two together in the next chain one space all the way around until you complete this round. And we're here. After that final chain five, we'll slip stitch into the top of the very first chain two to close. Moving on to round four, slip stitch into the next two chains so we can reach the center of that previous chain five space. Single crochet into that same chain five space. Chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and single crochet into the next chain five space. Repeat this pattern around. Chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and single crochet into the next chain five space. You can pause and meet me back in the next round. And we're back. Let's slip stitch into the first single crochet to close. And now we are ready for round five. Let's slip stitch into this first chain. 
and slip stitch into the second and finally into the third. Those are the first three chains of that initial chain seven space. Single crochet into that same chain seven space. Chain nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and single crochet into that next chain seven space. We're gonna re repeat this pattern. Chain nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and single crochet into the next chain seven space. Now we're at the end and we've completed our last chain nine. Slip stitch into that very first single crochet to close. Fasten off and get ready to move on to another color. Okay, now starting right in the middle of the first chain nine space, we're going to chain three and double crochet into that same chain nine space. Double crochet two more times into that same chain nine space, giving us a total of four double crochets. Chain three and double crochet five into the next chain nine space. You'll repeat this pattern around. Completing five double crochets into each chain nine space. Chain three and then advance on to the next chain nine space. Make sure there's five. There should only be four in the very first chain nine space. Once we reach the beginning, chain three and double crochet into that first chain nine space for the fifth double crochet and slip stitch to join. Moving on to the next color, so fasten off. We'll skip those first two double crochets and join the yarn in the third one. Chain three. And double crochet into the next chain three space. Chain three again. And double crochet into that same chain three space. Let's chain two single crochet into that third double crochet so skip the first two and we're going to chain two again and double crochet into the next chain three space chain three and double crochet into that same chain three space so we're repeating this pattern chain two Skip the first two double crochet and single crochet into that third one. We'll chain two again. Skip the last two double crochet and double crochet into that chain three space. Chain three and double crochet into that same space. Repeat this around. In this round with the final chain two and slip stitch into the chain three to close.
around a chain one, single crochet into the same chain two space. Chain two, double crochet three together in this chain three space. So first you start your double crochet and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two again. This time you'll have four loops, yarn over and pull it through all four. That's one double crochet three together. And we'll chain two in between there and repeat that pattern in this same space. There's two and here's three. A total of two double crochet, three together with a chain two in the middle. Let's chain two, single crochet into the next single crochet and we're gonna repeat this pattern around. Starting with a chain two, and double crochet three together. There's one, yarn over, two, pulling through two loops, and three. And pull through all four loops, and chain two for the center and complete your next double crochet three together in that same space. Continue this pattern around. You can pause your screen and meet me back once you've completed this round. Once you've completed your single crochet, fasten off and we're moving on to the next Lily Cotton yarn. We're gonna start with a chain seven right there in that first single crochet stitch. and we'll treble crochet into that same single crochet. And this is our first treble crochet V-stitch. Now chain one, and now we're gonna do the double crochet V-stitch. So double crochet into that next chain two space. Chain three and double crochet into that same chain two space. Moving on to the next treble crochet, we'll chain one in between, treble crochet into the next single crochet, and chain three and treble crochet into that same single crochet. So let's chain one and do that double crochet V stitch into the chain two space. Double crochet, chain three, and double crochet. Repeat this pattern around of treble crochet V stitches into the single crochet stitch, chain one before and after each V stitch, and then advance on to the double crochet V stitch. You can pause and meet me once you've completed this round. And let's end this round with the final chain one and slip stitch into the fourth chain of the very first chain seven to close. Starting round 10, chain one, single crochet twice in that chain space and chain 
two times, single crochet two more times in that same chain space. Single crochet into that next chain one space. Here's one single crochet here. And two single crochet, one, two, chain two, and two single crochet again. We'll repeat this pattern, making sure that you have that single crochet inside of that chain one space, and then that cluster of two single crochet, chain two, and two single crochet. Pause your camera and meet me for the next round. Once we're back, slip stitch into that very first chain one to close. Fasten off and we're going to move on to the next color. For round 11, we'll be working in those little chain two spaces we've created in the previous round. So you'll take your next yarn and pull it through the first chain two space and chain four. That's two, here's three and four. And just go on over to that next chain two space and half double crochet right in the center. chain two and half double crochet into the next chain two space and we'll complete this simple pattern all the way around. Feel free to pause your screen and meet me on the other side. And here we are. Complete the last chain two and slip stitch into the second chain of that initial chain four to close. For round 12, chain three and double crochet into the next chain two space. That's one. double crochet into the next half double crochet. So that's two double crochets in each chain two space and then double crochet into the next half double crochet. Repeat this pattern around. Pause your screen and meet me at the end of this round. Complete your last double crochet stitch and slip stitch into the top of the first chain three to close. Fasten off this round. Next, let's join the bikini bottom and the dream catcher motif. Thread your needle with yarn A. With the wrong sides facing, we'll sew the bottom of the motif to the remix section of the bikini bottom. 
I'm using a whip stitch here. So as I sew through, I flip the yarn over the needle. You'll see it for this next stitch. Place the needle through both pieces of fabric, flip the yarn over that needle and pull through for a nice whip stitch. I think that's what it's called anyway. Continue to sew this together evenly across and you'll have a nice and neat connection of the bikini bottom and the dream catcher motif. Pause your screen and meet me at the final stitch. Here we are, make sure to sew the complete corners together. So even though it may look like you're finished, you may wanna go an extra little stitch at the end to make sure it's completely connected to that final stitch on the remix bottom. There we go. Let's fasten off and move on to create the ties. Measuring four inches right at the top of your motif, we'll place the stitch marker at the zero mark and the next stitch marker at the four inch mark. This is where we'll place our ties. So to start the ties, chain 150 with yarn C. And once we've reached 150 chains, you're going to slip stitch right in that second stitch marker, that same stitch right there. Once you have it connected, Go ahead and single crochet across in each stitch until you reach that other stitch marker. Continue to single crochet evenly across those double crochet stitches and once you reach the next stitch marker, you're gonna go ahead and slip stitch into the stitch instead of single crochet. I started a single crochet here, but I decided, nope, 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 let me go ahead and slip stitch to make it nice and tight. Here's a slip stitch, and go ahead and chain 150 for the second tie. Once you've completed your chains, you'll fasten off and we'll get ready for the trim. We're going to join yarn G into the same stitch where the right tie is and pull it through and chain one. Then we'll have double crochet for the next two double crochets, chain two, and skip the next two double crochets, and half double crochet three into the next three double crochet stitches. Chain two again, skip the next two half double crochet and half double crochet into the next three double crochet stitches. Continue this pattern until you reach the remix part of the swimsuit. Pause and meet me at the remix. Here we are at the end and half double crochet into your final stitch and advance forward into the sides of those beginning five rows. So you'll simply 
crochet evenly continuing your half double crochet stitches into the sides of those rows for me this was about seven stitches So the initial remix yarn is very stretchy and this cotton yarn does not have much give. So you're pulling the swimsuit together and making it nice and sturdy. Once you reach the very end, you'll go ahead and slip stitch into the actual loop that you use to add on to your swim bottom. Fasten off and we'll move to the next side. So that everything is even, we'll start at the remix this time. Starting from the bottom to the top, slip stitch into that very first loop and chain one. Half double crochet evenly along the ends of rows and make sure you do the same amount of stitches that you did on the other side. Once you reach the motif, you'll continue your pattern and make sure it's the same as the other side. I ended the other side with two half double crochets, so I'll start here with two half double crochets, chain two, skip the next two, and now we'll finish that pattern of half double crochet into the next three double crochets. Continue this pattern across, chain two, skip the next two, half double crochet into the next three double crochets until you reach the tie at the top. Half double crochet your final stitch and slip stitch into the same stitch where you have your first tie. Fasten off. Weave in all your ends and you're done. Lace the ties through the chain two spaces on the back of the swimsuit for a perfect fit. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And click the notification bell so you'll know every time we post a new video.